and welcome back. This is the fourth episode in our tutorial series describing integrating Prescription Monitoring Program, or PMP, data with Electronic Medical Records, EMR, or Pharmacy Software Applications, PSA, to improve access to prescription and other data for prescribers and pharmacists. Integration of PMP data with EMRs and PSAs means providing prescription information directly within the user's clinical workflow. In Virginia, this means an icon or ribbon displaying NARCS care risk scores is generally placed within the patient's demographics page in the EMR or PSA, providing a quick glance at a patient's risk or status. The healthcare provider can choose to view the entire NARCS care report to further inform treatment or dispensing decisions. The provider must view the complete report to satisfy the regulation that requires a prescriber to check the PMP. Viewing only the ribbon or the icon is not sufficient to meet this requirement. The NARCS care report consists of two tabs. The NARCS report tab, which contains the prescription report for the patient, and the resources tab which contains information helpful to both the practitioner and the patient, including an MAT locator and printable CDC information sheets for the patient. The prescription section of the NARCS care report consists of six main sections. The first section presents patient information, including the patient's name, date of birth, and address as supplied by the dispensers. The second section contains opioid, sedative, stimulant, and overdose NARC scores. The interpretation of these will be reviewed in Episode 5. Graphical representation of the prescription information is in the third section. A graph allows prescribers and pharmacists to quickly ascertain patterns of use. The most recent prescriptions are on the left side of the graph. A bar approximately a centimeter wide represents a 30-day supply while a narrow bar represents a one to three day supply. It is easy to identify overlapping prescriptions visually. Many users find the graph especially informative. In addition, the graph is interactive. Clicking on a prescription reveals greater detail. Section four presents a summary table of narcotic, sedative, and buprenorphine prescriptions, a snapshot of total prescriptions, total prescribers, and individual pharmacies is provided in the first cell of this section. The second cell provides information on current narcotic prescriptions, including the morphine milligram equivalent, MME dose, and the 30-day average MME per day. The third cell contains information on current sedative prescriptions and a 30-day average lorazepam milligram equivalent, LME dose per day. The last cell provides information on any buprenorphine prescriptions the patient may have received. Section 5 offers a complete two-year prescription history for the patient. The prescription information is provided in table format and allows the user to hover over each prescriber or pharmacy to see more specific information without having to scroll down to the next section. The sixth and final section provides prescriber and dispenser information. This section identifies all the prescribers and pharmacies used by the patient. The columns are sortable to assist in determining patterns of utilization. When the PMP is integrated into the medical record, a wealth of prescription information, including patterns of prescription use, is immediately available in real time without disrupting workflow. There are some things, however, that are not available from the integrated screen. There are very good reasons for a provider to maintain their PMP account. These include delegate management, requesting PMP information from other jurisdiction PMPs not included in your EMR or pharmacy software application, access to NARCS care when unable to access in your EMR or pharmacy software application, access to user guides and training manuals, access to PMP quick link resources, and access to PMP announcements. And for individual prescribers, requesting your prescription history, access to previous quarterly prescriber reports. The PMP is one of the most useful tools to help the clinician prescribe properly and dispense appropriately. Having immediate access to the PMP through integration with the EMR saves time and most importantly, can save lives. 
If you have additional questions, contact Virginia's PMP at this email address. For technical support from APRIS, please call this number.